uh, first of all, just uh, on behalf of uh, our United States football, uh, United States Naval Academy football program, and our the Brotherhood and our entire school, this is a you know, it's a great honor for us to represent the West. You know, we're, we're really excited about this opportunity. Uh, you know, really proud of our our program, our especially our players and coaches and staff. You know, it's been a tough, long year. You know, but we're very excited to be at this point. Um, you know, we had to overcome a lot of injuries, like everybody else. You know, but we didn't make excuses. We just kind of found a way to keep fighting through it. Uh, whether it's you know rainstorms or whatever it was, we just found a way to keep fighting through it. Um, but really excited about the opportunity we have to play against a really good football program. Matt Rule, I have a tremendous amount of respect for him. Uh, he's a really good football coach. He's even a better person. Probably one of, you know, one of my good friends in the, in the conference. But uh, we have a tremendous amount of respect for Temple, uh, their football program, the way they play, their culture. They're very similar to us. Tough, hard-nosed kids. You know that um, we're disciplined, and we know this is going to be a tough matchup for us. But you know, uh, it's a very, very good football team that we're playing against. We're excited to be able to represent the West, and you know, hopefully, we'll be able to, you know, put our best foot forward, you know, in this championship game this Saturday. We'll take questions for Coach Niamatololo. Please star one on your telephone keypad. We'll put you in the queue. Then the operator will introduce you. And we'll go first to Gene Wang with the Washington Post. Hi, Ken. Good morning. Um, the first time you'll be playing before Army in 75 years, so obviously that's it's a huge deal. Um, just from your perspective, we're used to getting ready for Army. Kind of, how are you managing that? And particularly for the seniors who are used to getting ready for Army Point, how how do you expect them to handle it this week? Well, we've been kind of, you know, your goal is always, you know, when when we joined the conference, our goal, Gene, was to play in this game, the championship game, and we knew years in advance that, you know, because of where the game fell, uh, if we were in the game, that we would only have one week to get you know, prepare for Army. So we've had a plan in place, you know, the whole season to make sure that, you know, we could get ready for the championship game. We'd also be ready for Army to the best of our ability. Um, you know, we just, we've, just we you know, gone through with our plan. And, you know, unfortunately for us, we are in the game, which we're excited about. Um, you know, we'll have one full week uh, to get ready for Army next week, which you have versus, you know, every opponent. You know, obviously, like you said, most, most years it's either – Minimum of two weeks, uh, but it is what it is. It's a it's a good problem. We're grateful to have that problem, and we we're prepared for it. And uh, Ken, the offense the last month has been I mean spectacular. Three straight games of 500 total yards. You know you're averaging 61 points a game over the last three. As efficient as the offense has run since you've been doing the triple option. I mean I can't remember another stretch where it's been this good. Yeah, um, Gene, you're exactly right. You know. You know, Coach Jasper and offense staff, Will Worth leading our offense. I mean, we're operating at a high level. You know, really happy with the way we're playing at this point at the end of the year. Um, you know, but, but with that said, you know, we're, we're getting ready to play, you know, the number three team uh, defense in the country. You know, we've played Coach Snow before. He's a really good football coach. Uh, and, they, you know, they played Army early in the year. So, you know, they're going to have – option principles in place. So, you know, opening up with Army, you know, obviously they had spent all, all camp getting ready for Army. So this is going to be a different animal. We know we're, we're going to have our hands full uh, versus a staff that knows exactly what they're doing and really good, hard-nosed football players. Okay. Thank you, Ken. Hi, right, Gene. And we'll go next to Mark Narducci with the Philadelphia Inquirer. Um, Ken, could, could you talk about Will Worth, the guy that obviously was a starter at the beginning of the season? I mean, has he well surpassed what anybody thought he, he'd be able to do this year? Uh, he's well surpassed, you know, what I thought he would do. I thought he would play well, but he's playing on superb right now. I mean, he's playing at an uh, at an exceptionally high level right now. Um, you know, he's uh, running our offense very, very well. I mean, he's a physical, hard-nosed runner uh, that makes it, you know, tough to tackle. 
Uh, and it's made our offense, I believe, it's made our offense even that more uh, potent because, you know, we're normally a lot in, uh, you know, short yardage situations. And and because of the way he's able to run the ball physically, it's allowed us to have another physical presence, you know, running the football inside. Uh, with our perimeter people and the speed that we feel like we have on the edge, you know, it's allowed us to, you know, diversify some things. And he's also, you know, we don't, we still don't throw the ball a ton, but he's been so accurate throwing the football. Uh, you know, we don't throw the ball a ton last, uh, didn't throw it a ton last week, but you know, we had a couple drops. He's done a really good job accuracy wise, and so, um, you know, just really happy with what he's done. He's done a really, really good job of running our offense and is playing at a really high level right now. What you want to do? You want to be playing at a high level at the end of the season. You know, playing in this conference championship, and you know we're grateful for how he's doing right now. Thank you. Thanks, Mark. And we'll go next to Bill Wagner with the Baltimore Sun Media Group. Hey Ken, can you can kind of provide a little scouting report on Temple and maybe talk a little bit about the fact that they are different than the teams you've been playing? They're they're a little bit different than some of the you know high powered passing offenses like the South Florida and the. Tulsa and Houston and then SMU? Well, you know, they're still 46 in scoring offense, so they're a really good offense. And they could be scoring more if they were more up-tempo, but that's by design. You know, they're fifth in the country uh, in time of possession. They they hold the ball actually longer than we do. And so, you know, they they know exactly what they're doing. Uh, they're a power-running football team. You know, they're going to – get downhill and run the football. They got a lot of good play action stuff off that. And so they present a lot of problems for you, you know, with motions and and different things and shifting, but you know, they run downhill at you and as you start to get people involved in the run game, you know, they got really good play action stuff that complement their run game. You know, even though, you know, we're an option team, our principles are really very similar. You know, we run the football, time of possession, we run play action off our runs. And that's kind of what they do, too. It's just really good personnel. Obviously, Thomas is one of the best backs in the country. You know, he's, you know, really, really good back, shifty, powerful runner. You know, Walker seems like he's been there forever. You know, obviously, we played him in uh, 14 when we played him in, up in Philadelphia. Athletic, strong-armed kid, uh, mobile. You know, he's been in their offense, obviously, for a long time. Um they throw the ball, they're pretty diversified in all the people they throw the ball to, but, you know, Vento Bryant's their leading pass receiver. And on the defensive side of the ball, tough, athletic, hard-nosed team. You know, they lost, obviously, a really good player last year in Tyler, but, you know, this year they, you know, still doing really, really well. You know, with Reddick and Williams and Marshall, they're, you know, their exterior guys are guys that are really, really athletic and running the ball. It's kind of like, you know, 41 Jared's the kind of their guy that gets them lined up. You know, tough, hard-nosed guy in the middle. Um, it's going to be a tough game. You know, this is going to be a tough, hard-nosed football game. But I don't think any of us would expect anything differently in our conference championship game. Thanks, Coach. Hi, Wags. I'll we'll go to Christopher Heidel with Herb FM Radio Baltimore, Maryland. Hey, Ken. How you doing? How you doing, Christopher? I'm doing great. Uh, last week, you guys scored 75 points against SMU. Do you guys have a lot? Do you still have some uh, points left in you for uh, Saturday? I, I wish we could carry them over. I wish we could carry definitely carry the points over, just from the standpoint of, you know, they're really, really good on defense. You know, like I said, they're the number three, you know, defense in the country. Um, you know, so that makes them. <laughs> It's going to be a tough, you know, tough to score against them. They're number ten in scoring defense and number three in total defense, and so it's just, um, you know, just it's going to be a tough game for us. You know what I mean? And um, we were we're we're also expect- talk about. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. No, oh, go ahead. Sorry. Um, talk about playing a playoff game type championship game on the uh, field there at uh, Navy Marine Corps Stadium. What was it that for you and the seniors and everybody having a championship game in Annapolis? Well, it's really exciting for our program to have the championship game here uh, in a venue that, you know, we've had a lot of success. 
you know, and we're going to need all of our fans to come and cheer and support and be loud for us because, like I said, we're going to need every edge and advantage that we can get versus a very good uh, Temple team. But it means a lot for our program uh, to be able to represent the West inside of our conference and to be able to play at home. And we're looking forward to it. But we also recognize that we're playing a really good team. And so, you know, hopefully all of our fans' support and and the, the, the benefits and advantages of playing at home will be a benefit to us. Well, I hope you have a good week of practice. Thank you. Time and we'll one more to to Lolo, please. And we'll go to John DiCarlo with com. Hey, Ken, how you doing? Hey, John, how you doing? Good. Um, when you look at their defense, you, you mentioned that they had all camp to prepare for Army, but – Actually, you know, they didn't, you know, Army played well in that game. Temple did not do a good job of, of defending them. And then obviously you go the whole season without really seeing that type of offense again until they have to play you guys this Saturday. From the film you've watched on them, where do you think they've improved on defense and, and how do you think they might be better prepared to, to face you guys this week as opposed to you know, how they played against Army in the opener? Well, the the thing against Army, I think some of the stuff were just hit and miss because a lot of plays they play well, and you know maybe a play here and there they maybe might have had a missed assignment or something, and then you know might have messed up. But you know they still played physical against Army. You know actually, you know Army is a really good team. I mean they're rushing the ball against everybody, so you know I mean that's a tough opening game. Um, but with all the teams that they played this year, obviously going to Penn State and barely losing to Penn State up there. Uh, their other close loss was Memphis, which I know obviously is a highly explosive offense. Uh, but they've been playing well against everybody else. And to be in today's day and age of college football where people are spreading you out and everybody's high-scoring, high-powered offenses, you know, to be the number three uh, scoring defense in the country, uh, it's, it's pretty impressive. You know what I mean? Be the number um, – I, I just think – They've improved in so many ways. Excuse me, number ten in scoring defense, number three in total defense. To be able to do that today, man, that's hard to do. And so I, I got nothing but respect for them. But I didn't need to see what they did this year because we played them uh, 2014, and you know, so we know how good they're going to be. Uh, like I said, Coach Snow, um, you know, conceptually, he'll have some good stuff that we're going to have to be prepared for. And their kids are always tough and hard-nosed. You know, Matt does a great job of building a culture of tough, hard-nosed football players.